And now we go to the news portion, which luckily for all of us, I don't have any, too much news. <laughs> I did it for the rock. So the WWE, they released the documentary, the much anticipated behind the curtain WrestleMania documentary. It pretty much confirmed everything we knew about WrestleMania. So they confirmed that there was a pivot. They didn't initially have this plan to put the rock in place and then Cody Rhodes take back over as some people suggested may have happened. This was an actual pivot. The big part of this, <laughs> this documentary is we learned the WrestleMania plans were in place back in the October. It started to gain steam that maybe they were going to go rock versus Roman, especially when uh, the rock made it to the board. Triple H told Cody Rhodes before the Royal Rumble that, yeah, it's looking like we're going to go Rock versus Roman. Cody Rhodes was like, well, where does that leave me? Triple H said, I don't know, but I'll figure it out. And then Seth Rollins versus CM Punk was going to be the other Mania match. But CM Punk got hurt, so then they did that. So that's why they did that whole tease of Seth Rollins going out and saying, hey, you should face me. But the biggest thing that come out of the documentary was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He went out and tested the crowd. You want to rock sit at the head of the table. So he thought this was the way, but from his own mouth, he didn't like the fact that there were even a portion of the fans. There was a segment of fans that were upset. Yes. And that didn't sit right with him. Yes. So he had to change it. So he called Triple H, R. Emanuel, Nick Khan. He called the powers that be. And said, you know what? We need to do Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. And Cody Rhodes needs to win the title. It's all his idea. From his own mouth. Every part of that was his idea. <laughs> so The Rock is turning into Hulk Hogan. Yes. It became a big meme that he's like turning into Hulk Hogan. Where everything was... His idea. He's the, he's the nicest. He's the coolest guy. Every yes. story The Rock has is he's always on top. He's with a whole bunch of homeless people, but it's a story about how he's growing and <laughs> his. <laughs> yes. Fuck The Rock. I mean, can you imagine if he didn't call Triple H or Mario Emanuel and Nick Khan and say, hey, Cody needs to win this title from his own mouth? He pretty much had the idea of finishing his, the story. Yeah. And it was never thought of before that. I don't buy that for one second. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a little exaggeration. Um, That's a lot of exaggeration. But yeah, so after it's that, the Rock, was, no, for the first time in the and oh, pro probably in his career, the Rock got shit on, like completely shit on by wrestling fans, not movie fans, wrestling fans. That's always been his bread and butter, at least. He's always been the guy that no matter what, no matter how shitty his movies are, everybody's like, oh, it's The Rock. He's a big movie star. He hasn't made any movies that are, are big, but he's a big star. But he got shit on, and then he panicked. Well, as long as he did the right thing. Lying to make yourself seem like the good guy in the story? Yeah. Because remember, this doc was supposed to come out a long time ago, but mm -hmm. he had to approve it, so... And why do they have all those cameras backstage and during personal conversations? Like, why is Cody being filmed about his Russell or yeah, his WrestleMania spot being taken away from him? You're going to win the Royal Rumble, yeah, I but <laughs> I guess they knew <laughs> <laughs> they knew this was going to be a moment. I don't know. Just a little fishy for me, but uh, it's funny that it led to like, I don't know. It kind of became a, a internet meme where a bunch of people were just like using the rocks little picture and then putting like just big moments in wrestling and then like the rock as it's his idea so for instance we got like so i called steve stone cold on the phone and told him just <laughs> become stone cold steve austin <laughs> 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 and then uh there's another one i called vince McMahon and said Let's name it WrestleMania. <laughs> and then I told Hulk Hogan, turn heel and <laughs> lead a faction called the end of you all. <laughs> so, yeah, it's become a big thing. As it should. He's earned and, it. Yeah. 
And then someone today said, and then I told Damien Priest, don't kick out. <laughs> <laughs> but that one's a hater. Yes. <laughs> All the other ones are comedy. That guy's a hater. But let us know what you think in the comments. Hit a like for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next one.